Okay. So, oh, my oh, word, sorry, look at sorry, that. No, it's all right, that's oh, great. Man. So I think it's probably, with that. so that's full power, so that's the equivalent. This is full like, power, this is putting out about 1,200 lumens. Wow. Which is the equivalent of, you know, 75 to uh, 100 watt uh, light bulb. And, uh, you know, again, I mean, it's... Look at that, right, you get electrocuted, I like that. I did not get electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of... Options, yeah. 24, uh, 32 and 50 degrees. You're not, no, but you're not going to do color easy, effects, though. You're going to do easy, like easy. you're going to do white, soft white, and things like that. Uh, we focus on static white, is what okay. we call it, which is and, and available in different color temperatures. So we have 3000K, which is more of a halogen color. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. We have a 4100K, which is more a neutral white, more of a fluorescent right. color. And then we'll add additional white options as market needs merit. With incandescence being phased out, do you think is there a theory that maybe color temperature is going to change, or is it like? People like that, why mess with it? We've Give the people a, what they we've want. We've seen a lot of interest in the 3000K. Incandescence more of a 27-2800K. Yeah. Halogens more of a 3000K. Yeah. In the US, you've seen some people like maybe move more towards a 3500K, but you're still interested in the 3000K. But there's still a demand for 2700, uh, just because it's again, it's what we're, yeah. we're used to using. Yeah, interesting, great.